Good morning, everybody, from a very dull Oldham. Um, I'm home. <clears throat> I got home yesterday about one o'clock. Um, I decided to come on the train because I'd looked at, I'd had an email off National Express who I was travelling with, and they'd changed all my um, coach times. Oh, sorry. Um, they'd changed all my coach times, and uh, originally I was leaving at... 10 o'clock in the morning and get him back at something like 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they changed it till I didn't set off till round noon. And I was getting home at sort of half past eight, nine o'clock. And I thought, oh, I'm not doing that. Anyway, I said to Kate, can you just have a look for train times for me? And we got a really good deal. I got on the train at Westbury, which is just round the corner from Katie's. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got a bit of a sore throat this morning. Hmm. Um, and then I just had to change at Bristol. It was a really, really easy journey. Um, and I, yeah, it was quite a nice journey, actually. I really enjoyed it. And now I'm home. Yeah. Um, poor Zach, he's not well at all. He's out of pain. He's not in pain. Um, and all he does is, he's still eating. So all he does is eat his meals and sleep. I've just took him out for a walk today. And he literally just wants to walk to the end of the road. Then he's had enough, he turns around and come back and that's fine. And even if he didn't want to go out, I wouldn't let him. But he always goes to the door and wants to go out. Um, but I've got an, um, a telephone appointment today with the vet, um, basically to discuss, well, what's happening really. I don't really want to think about that just yet. Um, now I'm back home and reality's hit. It's a bit harder than I thought it would be. Um, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't realise it was going to be this hard. Tim isn't well. Tim's got terrible knees. He's, he, he needs two new knees, really. Um, but anyway, that's a different saga. So we'll talk about that again. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to come on and say good morning. I'm going to try and keep vlogging. Um, all I'm going to say to you is I can't promise anything. Because of the situation we're in, Tim's not well at all. The dog's not well. Um, I'm off to the doctors this morning. Oh, we like a set of, well, we just need putting in a bag and shaking up, don't we? Anyway, um, yeah, so today's plans are lots of washing. I've got some laundry to do. We've got some food shopping to do. Um, I'm going to unpack all my, because I didn't unpack anything yesterday. I just came home. I sat down. Just had loads of cuddles with Zach, relaxed, made dinner and just chilled in the evening. I didn't do anything. My bag is still over there in the corner. Well, bags are still over there in the corner. I've not even opened them yet. Um, So I've got all that to do today. Um, Like I say, some shopping, consultation with the vet. So, yeah, I'm just going to say is whatever you, you see, please be patient until it's going to be a bit of a rough week, I think, this week. Um, but I will let you know what the vet says later on. So for now, thank you very much again um, for carrying on watching me. And like I say, I've really, really enjoyed it and I will try and carry on. When, when I say I will try, I will carry on, but I'll try to give you some interesting um, footage. But it might not be like that. It might not be like it was in Froome, that's what I mean. All right, so for now, I'm going to go because I need to get ready and go to my appointment. So I shall be back later. Bye. Are you going to say hello to everybody, Zach? They've all been asking after you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's got his nappy on. I'm waiting for the vets to ring at two o'clock today. Isn't he just gorgeous? Are you gorgeous, lad? <laughs> Well, I have been spoiled this morning. I've had come home to a parcel and I've had two parcels this morning. So this one is off lovely Lindsay from um, So Sweet Samuel. She sent me, look at this, this little um, crochet pattern for a strawberry to go into my journal from Toft. Thank you very much, Lindsay. And two little wooden dolls. Her wooden dolls that she's making for the little felt doll are a lot smaller than mine. Mine are no good, I need to order more. So she very kindly sent two of mine, two of hers, so I knew what I was looking for. 
and then I got another one this morning. Look at this card, isn't that beautiful? And this is off, um, is it Karen? I think it says Karen. Yeah, that says Karen. This is off one of my viewers, Karen, who has sent me, look at this from a strawberry journal. So Karen, this is the lady that was telling you had bought this off me in scraps of fabric and sent it me back. How kind is that? And then she found this little bit and also sent me that with all these ribbons and rick racks. And look at this, crocheted lace. And look at these. Three beautiful. She said she thought that these little love hearts looked like strawberries. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous, Karen. Thank you so much. I am going to send her something in return. And then last but not least, I came home to this from lovely Abby. Um, she sent one to me, one to Karen and one to Alex. And look at this. Liverpool loves Ukraine. This was for the uh, Eurovision. How lovely is that? So thank you very much, Abby. So I've had some really nice mail to come home to and this morning. Thank you, ladies. Good afternoon, everybody. It is now quarter past five and I am shattered. <laughs> I'm completely shattered and drained and tired and need a bath. I have done nothing all day but clean, laundry, talk to the vet. Oh, yeah, it's been a really long and um, tiring day, really. So I've come on to say good night and give you some info. So I've spoken to the vet and he gave us some really good advice, to be fair. Um, he said, before I start, what we have to remember is little Zach is 15 and a half, which is a really good age for any dog. Um, he said, and he thinks, he thinks that there's something cynical there. But obviously, unless we do tests, he has got a lump. He's got a lump in his tummy. But unless we do tests and different kinds of things, then we're never going to know. And Paul, our vet, said that is a massive investment, he said, for a 15 and a half year old dog. So we've decided that we're going to take each day and each week at a time. Paul says, the vet said, as long as he's not A, in pain, B, um, agitated, and that he can still eat and go to the bathroom, which he is having a little bit of trouble with, but we're having medication to help us with that. And he's on medication to prolong what we think is his bladder cancer. But we don't have any answers. We just don't have any answers. And I asked the vet what he thought. And the vet said he thought that a dog of Zach's age, with as many ailments as he's had in the past couple of years, it would be quite cruel to put him through anything because, you know, there'd be lots of tests. So between the vet and myself and Tim, we've decided we're just going to leave him as he is. As long as he's not in pain and he's enjoying his quality of life, resting and chilling out, then we're just going to leave him. Continue giving him his tablets and Paul, the vet, said, you will know when it's time and he will let you know when it's time. So that is the, that's all I can tell you about, Zach. Um, I've just done so much laundry today. You can imagine I'd been away for 10 days. So although I kept on top of my laundry at Katie's, to be fair, um, Timothy, however, did not keep on top of the laundry. So I've been doing laundry all day and cleaning the house because you can imagine Timothy did not keep on top of the house while I've been away, which, yeah, you know, I've not been gone two minutes when the disaster hit with the dog. So I'd, I'd, I don't mind. Um, so yeah, that's, I, I didn't do any recording today while I was cleaning and washing and, and all that kind of thing. Cause who wants to see me washing, cleaning the bathroom, making the beds, changing the beds, you know, that kind of thing. You just don't want to see it, do you? But I have brought to show you what I was working on, on the train yesterday. I am ready to, um, I forgot all about this. And as I was going out to Katie's last minute last week, I thought, Oh, I'll put this in my bag just in case. I need something simple. So it is the Sophie shawl. 
isn't that a beautiful colour? This is the yarn that was very kindly gifted to me by Elise from Le Petit Saint Crochet. And I've got that in my bag that was also gifted by Elise. Isn't that beautiful? Don't those two go nice together? I had this on the train yesterday. I felt very, very posh. So, yes. So, I've got to over the halfway point now. Um, I haven't done any crafting today. I've just been far too busy doing other things. Um, I've got to the halfway point now. So, you can just see the bump there where I've started to decrease now. So, yeah. I did some of that on the train yesterday. Um, and I do fancy doing something tonight. But my brain is just... It's frazzled today. Um... It's funny, isn't it, when you come home from being on holiday, everything seems quite... I don't know how to explain what I mean here. It's a little bit like a fantasy world, isn't it? Like, oh, this is wonderful, being in Froome and having this lovely house to be in. And I don't have to worry about washing and ironing or husbands or dogs or anything like that. Not that, that I want, Not that that's how I want my life to be. But the actual going through the motions of that is quite pleasant. So when you come home and everything hits your reality, uh, like housework and cooking and cleaning, and the dog not being well and poor Tim's not very well and I'm not very well, to be fair. And yeah, it's just, yeah. So I'm feeling a bit low today. Not, not bad, but just a little bit huh, exhausted. So I've been having a route round in my craft room while I've been putting things away. And I know I shouldn't be starting anything else because I've still got my doll to do. I've still got my good bear to bake clothes for. But stress 323 and I'm doing what I fan set. So I've just been having a little route and I found these two balls of yarn from Toft in this bag. And I thought to myself, what on earth are they for? I don't remember buying those. Aren't they lovely? And then I did remember, I bought it as a little tiny kit to make the mini muscari. But I found out, this is it, let me show you. Let me see if I can enlarge it a little bit for you. Can you see it? It's a mini hyacinth. And it's one of those, it's really easy. It's just bobble stitch and single crochet and it's only a mini one. So I thought, you know what, tonight I'm going to take this downstairs and I'm going to have my dinner now, have a nice shower, put some nice clean pyjamas on and I'm just going to sit and chill and crochet something simple. So that's what I'm going to do for tonight. So I'm sorry it's not been very exciting today, but I knew that it would be like this for a few days until I got back home, got all my chores done, got myself sorted, got Tim sorted. Tomorrow we've got more workmen coming in. We're having all our loft re-insulated tomorrow. So they're coming first thing in the morning. So we have to wait for them to do that. They've assured us that it won't take very long, maybe three, four hours. So I can do some more washing and get it on the line and probably do a little bit of um, gardening. I need to cut the grass. Um, and then Tim and I need to go and do, we haven't been food shopping today and we needed to, but we haven't been, but we're all right. We can, we're not going to starve. Um, so I need to go food shopping tomorrow. But then after that, the rest of the week, we haven't got any plans and the weather's supposed to be nice. So I said to Tim, I wouldn't mind going out for lunch one day. That would be nice. And maybe I'd quite like to go up to our local quarry tim hasn't been up to the quarry this year to fly his drone and i thought that might be nice we could go up to the quarry maybe take a little bit of a picnic just you know maybe a nice sandwich and something to drink and we could sit up there for a couple of hours because we sit around the reservoir and it's lovely the water's really nice and it's it's just it's just a lovely place to sit and i usually take a little bit of crocheting or knitting with me so that'll be nice so yeah, that's what's going to happen. So like I say, it's probably not going to be as exciting, but we'll see what we get. So for now, I'm going to say good night. And again, thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you tomorrow. Have a nice night and take care. Bye-bye.